I do not condone the use of any legal or illegal substances. This video is strictly made for educational purposes only. Also, it is important to note that I am not an attorney, so anything that I say cannot be used as legal advice. I only talk facts and sources. The actual differences between magic truffles and magic mushrooms. In this video, I'm going to explain everything to you about magic truffles. And believe me, finding actual facts, trustworthy facts about truffles was harder than I thought. I thought, hey, I'm gonna make a quick and simple video about the differences between magic truffles and magic mushrooms like this guy did. But I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth than this guy. I'll make a beautiful thumbnail. And then I also get 30,000 views on a video that doesn't even last five minutes. And then it turned into a full research project on a quest for seeking the truth about the holy magic truffle. I'm gonna give you the most reliable information that I was able to find so that for once there is a little bit of clarity on this subject. From false information making people all over the world believe that magic truffles are illegal outside of Holland to the fact that magic truffles actually are more potent or stronger than magic mushrooms. I'm gonna tell you everything about that as well as the biological differences between the two, which one is more potent, so which one is more strong, the differences in effects, and lastly, I'm gonna talk about the actual truth about the legality of truffles, because there's a lot, a lot of confusion out there. I made this video to shine light on the subject, so that it is clear for everybody. The biological difference between the two are very minimal, they are almost the exact same thing. A mushroom's life starts with mycelium, which are narrow white threads that grow longer and longer and thicker and thicker. This way a whole subterranean organism can grow under the surface of the earth, invisible for us to see unless we dig it up. When the mycelium is thick and strong enough, it becomes able to burst out of the surface of the ground, forming a mushroom as we know them. When above ground circumstances turn bad, like uh, bad weather or a wildfire or other circumstances that negatively influence the life of the mushroom then the mushroom is most likely doomed to die and thus the mushroom's life will end maybe some spores or mycelium survives but for most part the mushroom is gone and this goes for most magic mushroom species but there are some mushroom species that have a very smart survival tactic for when above ground circumstances turn bad. Three well-known species using this survival tactic are the Psilocybe atlantis, the Psilocybe tempanensis and the Psilocybe mexicana. The mycelium of these species is not only able to grow mushrooms but it is also able to grow sclerotia and sclerotia is the survival uh, process that I'm talking about. The sclerotia conserve all of the necessary things so that one day when above ground circumstances turn good again, a full mushroom can grow again. So the mushrooms are able to survive and to reproduce again thanks to the sclerotia. So it is an amazing survival tactic that allows the mushrooms to survive, grow and reproduce again. This shows once again how incredibly intelligent nature is. Magic truffles is not the right name for them. Because from a mycologist's perspective it is totally wrong. True truffles live their entire lives underground and they will never develop into a mushroom because true truffles are a subterranean organism like the expensive but very tasty delicacy black truffle. The reason that smart shops and web shops use the word truffles instead of sclerotia is because truffles sounds more attractive and the word truffles is well known in society. The name truffles is pure marketing used by smart shops and web shops. So on my channel I refer to sclerotia when I use the word truffle. I do this because most people know them under the name truffle. Sclerotia is not a well known term, especially not by drug tourists who visit Amsterdam. They are simply different faces of the same organism, but there is one big difference between the two. Magic mushrooms, they are highly illegal in most places in the world. And magic truffles are legal anywhere in the world. And yes, you heard me right, because magic truffles are legally available across the entire planet. 
I'll explain that later in the video. But first, give it up for our super smart and protective government. Actually, I shouldn't make fun of them because it is such a privilege that I can walk in a store and come out of the door with magic truffles as simply as I go to the grocery store and buy a candy bar. So I deeply respect the fact that we can enjoy these psychoactive substances legally. But you must admit then when the same fungi grows out of the ground, it is highly illegal. And when it grows underground, it is legal. It has a whole backstory attached to it, but I'll leave that on the side for now. However, I shouldn't complain. This is awesome. To attach a conclusion to this story, mushrooms grow above the ground and truffles or sclerotia are a survival phase of the mushroom that keep food reserves underground. So which one is more potent or which one is stronger? To best explain this for you, I thought it may be good to write it down for you. One gram of fresh truffles contain on average two milligrams of alkaloids. One gram of fresh mushrooms contain on average 1.3 milligrams of alkaloids. Meaning that the truffles are stronger than mushrooms when they are consumed fresh. But once you dry them, mushrooms will hold more alkaloids per gram than truffles. How is this possible? It is because truffles contain 70% of water on average and mushrooms 90% of water on average. So when you dry a gram of both of them, there will be left more solid mass of truffles than solid mass of mushrooms. Let me give you an example. 10 grams of fresh truffles contain 20 milligrams of alkaloids. 10 grams of fresh mushrooms contain 13 milligrams of alkaloids. Now we dry both of those portions. 10 grams minus 70% water leaves us with 3 solid grams of truffles. 3 grams of truffles still contain the 20 milligrams of alkaloids. 10 grams minus 90% water leaves us with 1 solid gram of mushrooms. And that 1 gram of mushrooms still contain 13 milligrams of alkaloids which means that the mushrooms are more potent than the truffles when they are dried due to the fact that the fresh fruit bodies of the mushrooms contain much more water than the truffles so conclusion of this one gram of fresh truffles is stronger than one gram of magic mushrooms but one gram of dried magic mushrooms is stronger than one gram of dried magic truffles are there any differences in effects between the two? And this question is really hard to answer because we simply lack the necessary scientific research on this. When you take a cubensis mushroom, then that trip you experience is totally different than the experience you obtain, for example, from the azurescence mushroom. When you take a cubensis mushroom, then that trip you have of the cubensis mushroom is totally different than when you take an azurescence mushroom, right? And this also goes for truffle species because for example, when you take high Hawaiians, you get strong visual effects. And when you take dragon dynamite, you get lots of energy. This is because both of them are different species. But the weird and interesting thing about this phenomena is that technically or scientifically, it shouldn't variate that much in effects. Scientifically, we only know that different strains of mushrooms or truffles all variate between alkaloid per certain percentages. One strain may have lots of psilocybin in it, but not so much psilocin. And the other strain may have lots of psilocin in it, but not so much psilocybin. The only difference that we know of in magic mushroom species and in magic truffle species is that one is more potent than the other and one is not so potent than the other. The alkaloid percentage just variates between species. So I am not able to give you the answer to why certain species give many visual effects and others don't, why some give much energy and some don't give much energy, some are very spiritual and others are not. I am not able to answer that question. So the only answer I can give to you is just like with magic mushrooms, Magic truffle species contain different amounts of alkaloids within them. Some species, some species of truffles are more intense than others, just like with magic mushroom species. 
Now the last part of this video, in my opinion, the most interesting part of this video, the truth about their legal position, the truth about the legal position of the magic truffles. And before I talk about this, please note that I am not an attorney. So everything that I say cannot be used as legal advice. Psilocybin truffles are legally available across the entire world. And yes, you heard me right. Psilocybin truffles are legally available across the entire world. Well, that's a big statement to make, right? It is a big statement to make indeed. But I don't just want you to blindly believe me. I want you to check it out for yourself. I gathered all of the sources, facts and other necessary evidence to make a statement this big. And I made an entire video about the legal position of magic truffles and I put it on my channel. In that video, I have also gathered all of the sources and facts that I talk about and I've put it in the description of that video. So I'll put a link to that video in the description of this video. And I couldn't have made that video and said this to you if I hadn't got the information for it from Provitor.com. Provitor.com is a web shop that ships magic truffles across the entire world. They do this because since 13 September 2019, magic truffles became legal in Holland. But wait, even before 2019, truffles were being sold across the entirety of Holland. So how is that possible if they weren't even legal then? Well, this is the thing. The truffles were not illegal, but they also weren't legal. The truffles were simply ignored by the Dutch government. But then, in 2008, the Dutch government illegalized magic mushrooms. Which meant that all the producers in Holland of magic mushrooms had to close their psychedelic farms and go out of business. But those mushroom breeders were no ordinary hippies, they were legitimate businessmen. So they went to court. The producers of mushrooms and the smart shop made a verbal agreement with the Dutch government that now, instead of selling magic mushrooms, they were able to sell magic mushrooms. But the thing is, they made a verbal agreement about this. And so an agreement was made between the mushroom producers, the smart shops and the Dutch government. And everybody could live happily ever after. The European single market has as a main rule that if a project in one European country is legal, then it is considered legal in all of the other European countries. This would mean that truffles would spread across the entirety of Europe like wildfires and a monopoly on magic truffles that Holland had would be gone because all drug tourists wouldn't go to Amsterdam anymore because now in the entirety of Europe the truffles were legal. And Holland didn't want to lose that monopoly. They wanted to keep all of the drug tourists. Then the day 13 September 2019 came. And on that day, the Dutch government brought out a statement in a tax list that said that magic truffles are a genotsmiddel. And a genotsmiddel translates to a stimulant. It is a legal stimulant. Therefore, it is placed into the same category as energy drinks, coffee and dark chocolate. And now because Holland wanted taxes to be paid on magic truffles, they put them as a legal product in the same category as coffee. So since 13 September 2019, truffles have been legalized for the entirety of Europe due to the single market. Because once again, if one product is legal in Holland, then it is legal in all of the other European countries. Look it up. So since that moment, multiple web shops like Provitor.com started shipping magic truffles across the entirety of Europe. Okay, okay, okay but you said that they were legally available worldwide. Yes, I did say that. So let me explain only a bit of that story. And as I said, don't just blindly believe me. Watch the video in the description so that you can see for yourself. And in 1971, the 71 participating countries in the United Nation illegalized certain psychoactive substances. Two of them were psilocybin and psilocin the main active compounds in magic mushrooms. This was a sad day for all mushroom lovers and luckily I wasn't born back then. But the positive side of this was that only the pure substance psilocybin and psilocin became illegal. 
not the mushrooms. The mushrooms could still be traded across the world, only propaganda made it look like the mushrooms were made illegal, but this was not the case. How do I know this? Well, Holland illegalized magic mushrooms in 2008, and England did that in 2005. And there are a bunch of other countries that participated in the ban of psilocybin in 1971, but still they had to make magic mushrooms illegal even 30 years after psilocybin was illegalized. The mushrooms were still being traded across the entire world after 1971. So this is the evidence that a product containing an illegal substance doesn't necessarily have to be illegal. The law has to specifically illegalize products that contain a illegal substance in order to make that product illegal. If the law doesn't specifically state a product illegal, then it is legal. This is what happened to magic mushrooms, as I've just showed you. And luckily, magic truffles never got illegalized anywhere on the planet. In Holland, they even legalized them. Now, I'm gonna leave you with one last thing to think about for yourself. You have heard of the popular spice nutmeg, haven't you? Of course you have. It is available everywhere on earth, everywhere in every grocery store. But did you know that nutmeg contains the highly illegal substance saffron. Saffron is used to create MDMA. So nutmeg is a legal substance containing an illegal substance. And guess what? Magic truffles are a legal substance containing an illegal substance. So seen from a legal perspective, magic truffles and nutmeg are equal. Think about that one. If you wanna know more about the legality of the truffles then click the link in the video description if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section down below because i do read all of the comments and i will try to reply as soon as possible on you thank you for watching and i'll see you on your next trip